in the coordinate plane. And basically what we're talking about today is we're talking about how uh, you figure out where points are within this area right here, which is called a coordinate plane. Now, a coordinate plane was originally found by this guy here, figured out. This guy's name is Rene Descartes. And he was a philosopher, and apparently he was staring at flies on the ceiling, the story goes. And then he was trying to figure out if he could figure out the exact position of the flies based on uh, dividing it up into these tiny little squares. And so that's basically how he went ahead and came up with this idea of the Cartesian coordinate system, which is what we use today <coughs> in a lot of different things here. Now, the origin is the starting point here, 0, 0, where the x is the x one right here, and the y, so it kind of makes like a big x on a tilt. But So this is the x-axis right here. I'm going to label that, just making sure it's clear, x. And this up here is the y-axis. Now, the y determines how much up and down you are. The x determines how much right and left you are from the origin right here. Again, the origin is right there. <coughs> and an ordered pair is listed as something like this, 2, 3. Now, just like in the alphabet, x always goes before y. So you go over 2 and up 3, 1, 2, 3, right like that. And that's our point. Now, if I had this instead, negative 3, negative 5, then, yeah, normally you go this way, and normally you go up, unless it's negative. So you go back 1, 2, 3, and down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so that's our point for that one there. And again, this works all the way through here. So if we have 2, uh, negative 5, and it's got to go 2 over, always left, right first, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. And if we had something like this, 0, uh, 2. Then we just go 0, left and right, and then just up 1, 2. That's it. So this is just a big old graph here. And if you look, we can figure out what some of these points are. And so right here, this one right here, if we look at it, you see, well, it's 3 over, left, right, first. So 3 over and 1 up. So this here, if we wrote it down, it would be 3, comma, 1. This one here, 2 over 4 down. 2, comma, negative 4. This one here, right here, 3 to the left. That's going to be negative 3. Oh, I need to get rid of that there. Let me fix that. Negative 3. So it's left, right, first, and then negative 2, because it's down. Here, this one here, I bet you can figure this out, negative 3, and then it's 2 up. This last one up here be 5 over and 5 up. So it's pretty easy once you get used to this. Now, horizontal lines are lines that are parallel to the x-axis. So. And that's the x, and this is the y. I always like to label them just because it just makes a little bit more sense for me. So if I were asked to go ahead and label these points or figure out where these points are, I just go 1 over for g, and then 2 up. That would be point g. Then negative 2, 1, 2, and up none. So right there would be point h and negative 2, and 3 down, 1, 2, 3 down would be i. And again, so you always go left, right, first, then up, down. Then for this last one here, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2 down. So that's going to be j. And that's it. This is really all we're talking about. And if you have something like this, where the x-coordinates are the same, then you're going to have what's called a vertical line, because it goes straight from here to here. It goes in a straight line. Or it does if you can actually draw a straight line pretty reasonably. Now, obviously, from here to here would not be a straight line. But if I had another point up here, say, point K, then I'd form a straight line from here to here. And if I wanted to 
go ahead and have a different point altogether. If I wanted to have a point here, I could have a vertical line going this way, and then a horizontal line going this way. So horizontal is parallel to the x, and vertical is parallel to um, to the is parallel to the y. And one last thing here, this one here, first uh, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Sometimes they're referred to in Roman numerals. So one, two, three. I'm not going to refer them that way just because I think that that's kind of confusing. So that is what we're talking about, and that's it. And uh, hopefully we'll get a lot of practice on this and get this down really quickly because once you get this down, then we can start plotting lines and all that fun stuff. So remember Rene Descartes.